Hello everyone, welcome to Indian Money's YouTube channel. I'm Natalia. So you urgently need cash for something, but you realize your bank account is almost empty. Then you make up your mind that you're going to start budgeting and start saving money so that you don't end up in the same situation. That's a very good decision. But making these few mistakes will derail you from the path towards financial independence. So in this video, I'm going to tell you five mistakes that you should avoid so that you can get the maximum value from your budget and save money. Number one, not creating a written budget. Now making a budget in your head and trying to uh, do things accordingly might not work all the time. You need to make sure that you write down your budget, write down how much you're getting, how much you're going to spend on what you're going to spend and where all you're going to spend so that you will have a clear idea where you're spending unnecessarily and which is very essential. So writing all the details of your expenses will give you a clarity of your spending pattern. And when you know your spending pattern, it will be very easy for you to manage your finances. So go ahead and create a reasonable and a realistic budget which works for you and stick to it. Number two, not tracking expenses daily. So day one, you're tracking all your expenses. And day two, you head out and you find something that you really want and you end up buying it. But you're not noting it down in your budget plan. Now that is a very big mistake. If you decide to track all your expenses every day, make sure you track everything and note it down. By noting down each and every expense and each and every place you spend money, you will know your pattern and you will know your spending habits so that you'll be able to manage your money more efficiently. And when you clearly know the difference between these two, your spending habits will directly fall on track and you will be on a fast track towards financial independence. Number three, setting unrealistic targets. Now, you might be very motivated on the first day to put a budget and start saving a lot of money. But by being very motivated, do not make very unrealistic targets. For example, if you're getting a sum of money and almost 80% of it you are planning to save. Now that is definitely not going to work out because of course 50% of your salary will definitely go for your essential products for the whole month. So you have to make sure that you set a very realistic budget and stick to it. Also, when you're getting started with budgeting and saving money, go easy on yourself for the first few months. Do not rush it. And if you end up relapsing, it's totally fine. Start over as much as possible, but make sure you have realistic goals and follow those goals. Number four, not having emergency funds. In this very uncertain times, anything can happen anytime and you might need a lot of cash immediately. So at times like this, it is very crucial that you have an emergency fund in place. What is an emergency fund? It is six to eight months of your salary put aside so that you can liquidate it in terms of emergency. But if you don't have an emergency plan in place right now, do not worry. The whole point of budgeting and trying to save money is so that you can also work on your emergency fund. So when you have a budget and you know all your spending habits, you will know how much surplus cash is laying around. So you can start filling up your emergency fund with that surplus cash. Number five, not rewarding yourself for your effort. Now budgeting might sound like a punishment that you have to save money, you have to be very spendful of your expenses. It might sound like a punishment, but it's definitely not. But you can add fun elements to it. For example, say uh, you keep a realistic budget and when you reach that target, make sure you reward yourself. Reward yourself with incentives by paying yourself. It does not have to be expensive. You can buy yourself some chocolates, you can buy yourself some clothes, but make sure it is not expensive. So don't be too hard on yourself when you're just starting out. Start slow, do not rush it, but make sure you have realistic plans and stick to it. So having a budget in place is the first step in your financial life. And there are a lot of budgeting techniques. You can definitely pick one technique which works for you and stick to it and start saving a lot of money. But when you are just starting out, do make sure that you avoid these five mistakes so that you won't be derailed from your path towards financial independence. And that is all for today's video. If you like this video and if you want to learn more about personal finance or career building courses or business and farming courses or how to earn a lot of money, how to save a lot of money, then click the link in the description box below and download the Financial Freedom app and start your journey towards becoming rich. In the Financial Freedom application, we got a lot of courses related to finance and how to save of money or how to start a business from scratch and not just that the courses are available in six different languages so do go and check them out 
and don't forget to use my code natn80 if you use this code you'll be getting 2000 rupees worth scholarship absolutely free and if you like this video then hit the like button if you're new to the channel then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when we post a new video i'm natalia and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching indianmoney.com